Hello, are we there? Oh, so I want to clap aboard this. Hang on. Is that flashing red? It's flashing red. Whoa. No, don't oh, do it yet. Oh, right, don't do it yet. I'll okay. do it one more time. Right, okay. okay. I'll be a bit more professional about it now. Okay, are you ready? Ready. <laughs> and clap. We've just come from Cromer, our NLI lifeboat station, where we had a brilliant tour of the Tamar class lifeboat by the mechanic, no less. But we're now off to a little known lifeboat station. It's the busiest lifeboat station in Britain, and it's Tower Lifeboat on the River Thames, where I was a volunteer crewman for eight years. We're doing very well. Yeah. Professional filmmaker. Yeah, amateur driver. One of the great things about being on Tower Lifeboat uh, as a crewman was that no matter where you went on the river, you were travelling at speed in a, in a very powerful boat through one of the most iconic skylines. And um, we, we used to get called to a lot of jobs on this. Um, a lot of people come up to the bridge and uh, some of them jump off. It's nearly always an Australian. Um, we go, ah, I saw a pub over there, thought I'd swim to it rather than walk. Yeah, well, this is the lifeboat station and we moved here in 2006. Um, the, the pier used to be owned by the uh, Metropolitan Police Service, who sold it to us for a pound and then gave us the pound back to be displayed, which was quite nice of them. The presence of the Oran on the river came as a result of the Marchioness tragedy. And uh, this, this wee plaque uh, recognises the police officers that were involved on the rescues that night. They uh, pulled out the 50 of the 80 survivors that went into the water were rescued by the police. That tragedy has actually saved many more lives than were, were lost in the original accident because uh, the presence of the RNLI on the Thames has uh, significantly reduced the amount of fatalities on the river. These, these are properly working boats. I mean, you, you're, you saw at Cromer yesterday how beautiful their boat was kept and how clean and everything. And we try and do that here too. But I think this year, there are up to 400 shouts this year. So it's, the boat's been used operationally an enormous amount of time, uh, which means it gets a lot more wear and tear than a normal um, lifeboat would. I miss it enormously, I, I really do. But everyone can get involved in the RNLI. It's, it's a volunteer thing. Whether it's a fundraiser, whether it's um, an engineer, whether it's the guy who makes the tea at the college, will tell you the same thing. What's your job? Saving lives at sea, that's it. And, it's, it, and, and, that's, and that's what it's for. So the fact is that um, although I can't be crew anymore, you know, I, I do like to, to fundraise, I like to go out and help with the collections. Um, I even do some after dinner speaking for them. And, 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 and in that way, I'm still saving lives at sea. It's not the same. <laughs>